Today is my wedding day. Today is my wedding day. Today is my wedding day. Hey, hey. Today is my wedding day, guys, and I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I'm getting married to my Maasai love. I hope you learn a thing or two from this wedding today guys. I'm so excited. It's a new culture to me as well and you are going to learn as we go on. One thing that I haven't mentioned guys is that I haven't met the groom yet and I'm going to meet him today. I'm going to meet my groom on this wedding day because that is how it's done. I hope I'm going to love him. I hope it's going to be a great union. Stick till the end of this video and you are going to learn one thing or two. Hello guys, welcome to Malika Kenya and it's another beautiful, beautiful day guys. And today we are in Kajiado County. We are in Maasai land whereby I have a new family. Yes, I have a new family in Maasai land and today it's a big day for us. Today it's a big day because I'm going to show you how the Maasai wedding goes on like i'm going to show you how it happens i'm going to give you details on how it's done especially on this particular community i understand we have like different tribes we have different traditions but in this particular community i'm going to show you how marriage happens and i'm going to show you how weddings especially happens some of you have been requesting to see how uh weddings are done in my village and today we are not demonstrating how a wedding is done in my village but we travel to this beautiful Maasai village to just show you how the weddings are done guys this is a demonstration and this is not actually my actual wedding so stay tuned in and I hope you enjoy this episode and in case you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'm going to try my best and also my friends are going to assist me in answering the questions First of all, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready as they are preparing me to present me to my husband who is waiting outside. And I'm going to show you my outfit, the Maasai outfit that they will give me. And this is a wedding outfit. It's not just an ordinary outfit, but this is a wedding outfit. Stay tuned in as we dress up for our big, big day. I hope my husband... <laughs> I hope my husband is going to love me as they have told me they are going to make sure I look very, very beautiful. This is the groom and he's patiently waiting for me outside because the ceremony is going to be conducted outside and in our new home. The groom is dressed in uh, his wedding outfit. This is what he's going to wear. And also other people who are attending the wedding are waiting for us outside so yeah i'm getting ready on the inside and the groom is waiting for me here so let's get back inside we finish up with getting ready first
is my complete wedding outfit and since I'm a newlywed uh, they are training me how I'm supposed to walk as I am supposed to walk slowly and I'm supposed to act shy as well and you know like most people in these cases as I was told is that uh, most brides especially for this kind of arranged marriage uh, most brides are usually sad as some of them don't want to get married to the partner their parents have picked for them and yeah this is how it used to be done long time ago and also this is how the weddings are always done but uh nowadays everyone chooses their own partner unlike how it was done initially whereby your parents could choose a partner for you Also, this is the maid of honor. Her name is Chef Myra. She's also a YouTuber. Please check out her YouTube channel as well as she does amazing, amazing vlogs. And one thing that I forgot to, to, to tell you guys is that um, the people who are assisting me in this kind of setup, yeah, I'm supposed to be assisted by my family members. That is like my sisters, my mother and everyone. But since this is a demonstration, uh, this family, this particular family is assisting me in like the whole preparation, dressing me up well and making sure I'm looking good. Just look at how pretty I look. Just look at how glowing I am. And I'm supposed to hold this kind of stick as it's also part of like the outfit of the day and this outfit would not have been complete without this beautiful beautiful headgear so they decided to top up on top of this beauty they decided to add this accessory which is a headgear and it's very very important as well they are made in different styles but it depends i didn't want anything bulky so they said uh this headgear will add to my beauty and since i chose not to do any makeup at all this one is going to make my face glow even more and now it's time to get Married, it's about damn time. Ayah, 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 ayah
So guys, this is a manyata and one thing that I forgot to mention initially that I should have mentioned is I'm getting married as a third wife. Yes. So, uh the groom has two wives already, so I'm supposed to be the third wife and um this is a manyata. This is how it looks like on the inside and usually since I'm a newlywed, uh the person who is welcoming me in this house is like uh the first wife or the second wife they are welcoming me to their house to their manyata first and then after a few days uh the groom or my husband is going to build me my own house that is my own manyata also i'm told uh this thing that they are removing from the back is like uh milk i'm carrying uh, uh, that is milk and that milk symbolizes like we are supposed to share it with the groom or my husband and it's a way of uh, it symbolizes the unity and welcoming me to the family and that milk is prepared by me so i'm giving a taste of it to my husband so that he can approve whether i'm a good cook or not like also it's also uh supposed to show that i'm going to feed the groom and the groom is going to be well fed Okay. Kwa kwa sasa hivi. Ah. Okay. So kwa 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 Sikuishi kwa ni sasa hii ni maziwa ya mtu tunakaribishwa nayo. Oh. Wakati tukiwa na ngombe ni maziwa. Oh. Samani ilikuwa nini? Pombe. Oh. Pombe. This is our first meal together as a couple and they are trying to explain to me usually it's supposed to be milk plain milk but since like it's a dry season there and uh there's no grass the cows are not around so they decided to serve us tea also like long time ago long long time ago it used to they used to serve alcohol whereby the bride was supposed to sip just a little bit <laughs> Ah. Eh. Tuzai watoto. Mkanda bama ya ngombe utatoa 
ngombe tano. Ngombe tano? Haya hiyo sasa inatoa ukua mingi. Mingi sana. Oh. Sawa sawa. Amen. So this is my mother in law advising us on tips on how to keep our marriage going, on how to spice up our marriage, on how to just make this marriage work. And also, apart from that, she's also giving us our blessings. And also, uh, since this is a dis- uh, demonstration, she's also explaining to me like how it's usually done, uh, how like the blessings, the kind of words they tell the bride and the bridegroom. <laughs> <laughs> and that is my Maasai traditional wedding guys that is how it's done in case I've left any details kindly and you are a Maasai in case you have uh, anything that we forgot to do kindly leave it in the comment section below and I hope you've learned something new and this was a very very nice day guys I really really enjoyed I really had fun shooting this video and uh, I can't I can't really wait to spend some more time here in Maasai land and to learn more of their cultures stick uh, around guys for more amazing vlogs from Maasai land and this is Kajiado county in Kenya thank you so much for watching this video to this part in case you like it guys please give it a thumbs up so that Malik squad can grow and become even a very very big family thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed my wedding see you on our next video bye